No big surprise that Patrick Mahomes tops the projections for top fantasy quarterbacks this season. He's followed by Josh Allen and Kyler Murray, both of whom add some protection with their legs, obviously. Fourth is Dak Prescott coming back from that gruesome ankle injury. Lamar Jackson completes the top five. Stephen A. Smith. Um, who's the top five quarterback that you think could potentially take a step back this season? Well, me personally, I think it's Dak Prescott, and that's both uh, regular football and fantasy football. I think he could step, take a step back if you're comparing him to the other dudes in the top five. When you think about Kyler Murray, when you think about Lamar Jackson, when you think about Patrick Mahomes and these boys, Josh Allen, uh, you're going to see dudes that's capable of making plays with both their arms and their legs. Uh, they're definitely going to throw the football a lot. We'll see what happens. In the case of Dak Prescott, it's not that I expect the precipitous drop off in terms of, you know, what he can do offensively and throwing the football because of the requisite weapons that he has available to you. I just think that even though he only rushed for, I think, what was it, 277 yards, not last season when he only played five games, but the season before that, and then the two seasons prior to that, he ran for 305 and 357. In the end, what it comes down to is that you know that Dak Prescott – particularly when you've got weapons that have to be covered in Lamb, Gallup, and Cooper, you know, you could see him dropping back in the pocket and then taking off because so many people in the secondary are preoccupied with those receivers that there's some gaps that he can exploit to extend plays, move the chains, et cetera, et cetera. I think based off of the injury that he incurred, Max, I think you'll see him highly reluctant to do that. He will drop back to pass. He will fling that football. But I think when it comes to extending plays, making plays, rather than him doing that, I think you'll see an individual that's going to be giving the ball a lot to Ezekiel Elliott. And that's why I don't, that's why that's the only reason I say I expect a drop off. Some of the things that he could take over and do himself to some degree to help out, I think he'll defer more of that load to Ezekiel Elliott while he refrains from doing those kind of things. That's why I say it'll be a drop-off, particularly fantasy-wise. I don't think any of these guys are going to drop off fantasy, but if I have to choose one, it's a process of elimination. So Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray run so much, they have a very high floor. I don't think it's going to be either one of them. And Kyler Murray, if anything, should run more. Like when Kyler Murray's running, he's just impossible and might wind up like a Lamar Jackson but a better passer, let's see. More prolific one anyway. So I, Patrick Mahomes, leave that guy alone. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes ain't falling off. If anything, it's going to get even better. I mean, he had 50 touchdown season. He could easily do that again or top it. Um, so now we're left with And Dak. had the surgery on his foot, right? And had the surgery on That's his foot. That's right. right. That's right, yeah. which took away some of his mobility late. Yes. So now we're dealing with uh, Dak and Josh Allen. I understand your logic about Dak. It's, it's sound. Um, but what I said earlier I think applies to Dak. He's going to be playing from behind at times because the defense isn't good. They're going to have to try to outscore opponents. And what we've seen is Dak open it up in the second half. And when you look at that three-headed monster at receiver, where probably only the Bucs have a better three-headed uh, situation at, at receiver with C.D. Lamb and, and Cooper and, and Gallup, uh, I, I think Dak is going to do fine with the fantasy numbers, which leaves Josh Allen. Now, Josh Allen threw for 4,500 yards. He ran for another 400 yards. He had 30, threw for 37 touchdowns. Like, he's a fantasy beast. That's why he's listed second. But... But his floor in terms of the running is lower than Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson's. And I think in the NFL, when you're a big, strong guy like Josh Allen and you're a good, he's not just fast, he's a good runner. You're a good runner. I think there's a concern, as we saw with Cam Newton, about, and Roethlisberger, about taking too much punishment. Even holding the ball too long or running with the ball, too much punishment. I think, if anything, that may trend in the opposite direction a little bit in terms of the yards on the ground. Then he has to replicate a 4,500-yard passing season with, you know, a bunch of touchdowns and everything. It's not that I think he will regress. It's that I think of these five guys, the guy whose floor could lower is Josh Allen. Well, he rushed for 600. Josh Allen ran for three, 631 yards uh, his rookie year, 510 his second year. Right, trending 421 that 421 last year, so he's trending down. Yep. Um, and I understand where you're coming from. I just think that there were key points last year where I think he saw his ability to extend plays and potentially scramble is very, very beneficial for the team. Now, obviously, he's got to know to get down. Uh, he can't be somebody that's taking hits. And in today's NFL, you really don't have to because as long as you slide as opposed to dive, they can't hit you. And so taking that into consideration, I think that he would. And I think that considering that, you know, you relied on Stephon Diggs, Okay, 
that was really, really pretty much your lone weapon. Although it'll be a bit better this year, I think you'll see opportunities open up for him to scramble out of the pocket and really take the and, and really use his wheels uh, to extend some plays and to move the chains. And I think that's something that he will do as the season progresses. And that's why I didn't pick Josh Allen, even though I get where you're coming from. One more thing about Dak. We forget because things shifted slowly. But when last seen in action over a full season, Ezekiel Elliott was still perceived as the star of the offense over the full season, right? Ezekiel Elliott was the higher draft pick. He was considered by many the best running back in the game. The, the, the constant refrain was, you know, why aren't they running Zeke more, you know? Things have changed since then, but not since Dak has been healthy. Dak, if he now returns and plays a full season, it will be the first time where the perception of the entire team is you got paid you, you, like a superstar quarterback, you got uh, like great receivers, you got your offensive line back, here's the ball, take us there. And I think that means Dak's numbers will look good at least. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.